everyone, it's Shelby. Welcome back to my channel. You guys requested a refrigerator tour, pantry tour, freezer tour. We have two sets of refrigerator drawers in the kitchen, one on each side of the center island. And on this side of the kitchen, I filmed at the beginning of the week when I went grocery shopping, how I store components for dinners each night of the week. And it has made such a big difference in just taking out the bin and getting dinner on the table and just forgetting about it. I've been doing this for about a year now and it just has worked so well for our family. So let me get the camera turned around. I'll show you what I'm talking about. On this side of the kitchen, I have two more of these refrigerator drawers and I'm using them a little bit differently than I have in the past. And I love, love, love this system. I got some acrylic bins and lined the drawers with them. And I use them to kind of clump together ingredients that I need to make dinner each night. So for example, when I go grocery shopping, I come home and I wash all my produce and, and stuff and I just put it directly here in these drawers. So Friday night, we're having grilled steaks. We're having baked potatoes. I've already scrubbed the potatoes. I've cleaned the asparagus. I have it sitting in water. Um, I cut the tops off of some green onions so we can have butter, sour cream, and uh, green onions for the potatoes. I have the mushrooms already sliced. So when it comes time to getting dinner ready, I just pop this acrylic bin out. Ken will throw the steaks on the grill, and then I just start uh, with the side dishes. And it's so convenient to have everything you need right here. Now this weekend we're gone, we're going to the university for the um, like tour and all that kind of stuff with our son. But Monday we're having um, clam chowder. So I went ahead and I prepped onion, carrot, celery, and garlic for the base of the soup. And then I have the rest of the green onions. I'm gonna be making clam fritters. And it's really nice when you have that, that onion flavor in it. I have the parsley all washed. It's in water so it won't get um, wilted and I'll chop that fresh. So this will be nice on Monday when I make the clam chowder and the clam fritters. Now I don't prep out too far in advance. I might do a second round of meal prep during the week. But in this drawer for Tuesday, I have onion, the green peppers, garlic, and jalapeno peppers. I need those to make the homemade uh, refried beans. And I have the cheese here because we're gonna have bean and cheese burritos. So it's nice to have everything kind of right there. And then Wednesday, we're having chicken pot pie. So I have the onions, the celery, the garlic, the carrots, and the leeks here. Convenient. Another thing, um, just to point out, I get asked questions about this. I have these OXO filters. There's a little filter on the inside. I use these in all of my vegetable drawers. Uh, they filter out um, the gases that they produce and it keeps your vegetables fresher and longer and they really work. You change the filter every three months. I bought them at uh, the container store. You get asked questions on those all the time. Now down here I have two more um, containers. Now we just had penny pasta recently but my son requested it again so I threw it in the mix. But I have everything I need. The onions, the garlic, the parmesan cheese, the cream and uh, we're gonna have a salad that night. So I have the lettuce, the cucumber, and tomato. Again, it just is so convenient. And then down here, I store our son's insulin. So that's how I've been using these refrigerator drawers recently, and I love, love, love this. One thing I've noticed is Ken or the kids, they don't come in these drawers and take things I don't know if you've ever gone to cook dinner and um, you found some of your ingredients missing, someone's you know eaten them, and you find yourself running to the store. I've avoided all that utilizing this system. So that is the two refrigerator drawers on this side of the kitchen. On the other side of the island, I have another set of refrigerator drawers. I know some of you have, are remodeling your kitchen and you're asking questions how I like them. 
I love them. It frees up so much uh, room in the uh, refrigerator. And we have a counter dip refrigerator. So our refrigerator is actually four inches smaller than most refrigerators. So I really appreciate having these drawers and taking some of the burden off of the big fridge. On this side of the kitchen, uh, near the bake center, I have two refrigerator drawers. The top one is like, kind of like a cheese cave. I keep um, all of our cheeses in here. Our local grocery store doesn't have a very big selection. It's pretty vanilla. So when we go to like say Trader Joe's, we try to pick up a variety of cheeses in small quantity, like Fontina, there's some Gruyere, this is a jalapeno jack. Um, I try to keep some good on hand whenever we have a smoked um, chicken, barbecue chicken. I pick the meat off the leftovers and make that CPK, the California Pizza Kitchen, barbecue chicken pizza. Um, back here, there's some uh, shaved Parmesan, Romano, Cotija, regular Parmesan cheese. Over here, I have some pine nuts for making pesto. There's goat cheese, brie, some of the laughing cow. And then over here, uh, we have some crumbled goat cheese and blue cheese for like salads. Mancheco, some fresh mozzarella. There's goat cheese, blue cheese, and a little bit of Parmesan cheese. So that's the, the cheese cave. I've gotten away uh, from waxing cheeses to age them. I'd like to get back into that. Um, I had purchased a big block of cheese wax from New England Cheese Making Factory. And it's, it's kind of a nice thing because you can buy a very mild cheese and you can wax it and then put it in your, your little cheese store here and age it. And this drawer here, I really love this drawer. I use it a lot in the fall and winter when I do a lot of baking. My mixer is located right behind this drawer, opposite, and the bake center's here. We have eggs and butter and cream cheese, sour cream, a little bit of heavy cream. Uh, I keep my yeast in that container. There's some whipping cream, a little bit of crab, and normally I have buttermilk here for baking and uh, whatnot. But the last two times I went to our grocery store, they were completely sold out. So hopefully they'll have it this week. But it's nice to have this stuff when you're doing the holiday baking. It's a great location. Now I'm gonna show you our refrigerator, what it looks like a week after going grocery shopping. Um, I'm doing this because a couple of reasons. It's usually the day that I just kind of wipe it down. And I've the bins that are in there really prevents um, big messes. You know, you might get a little spill and you can just take the, the bins out and clean them. I really like that and that works out really good. Um, the second thing is when I wipe out the refrigerator the day before I go grocery shopping for the next week, I take inventory of what I have and I meal plan from that. Uh, this week I had a couple avocados, I had some grapes. You know, I wanna use those things in this next week's meal plan so we don't have any waste. I had read an article a while back, a few years ago, where in the United States, 40% of all food produced is thrown away. And I don't know about you, but I'm appalled by those st statistics. And so I've really made an effort to organize my my refrigerator in a way that it helps prevent that from happening and that we use everything we we have okay so let me show you the refrigerator remember this is at the end of the week last week i showed you my refrigerator drawers how i've been putting all of the meal prep for each dinner in those acrylic boxes in the refrigerator drawers that was at the beginning of the week when i first went grocery shopping now this is a week later. This is what the big fridge looks like. On the door here, we have some milk, um, some peppermint mocha and pumpkin spice coffee meat, some heavy whipping cream. We have butter and cream cheese. Now on the top shelf, I have these meal prep containers 
And how I use those is for leftovers. I have found for our family, when I put leftovers, like say that we had a roast dinner and I put the roast in a container and I put the mashed potatoes in a container and the gravy in a container and the whatever kind of vegetable in a different container. It doesn't get um, all used up and I hate wasting things. So what I've been doing for several years now is I use these meal prepped containers and I just kind of portion out little meals. So I put a scoop of potatoes with gravy, a slice of meat and some veg. The boys will throw these in their backpack, take them to school for lunch and just microwave them. And it saves us a lot of money that we're not buying lunches and we're not throwing food away because it gets lost in the back of the refrigerator. So that has worked out really good for our family. I keep them up here on the top shelf readily at eye level <laughs> so they can't miss it <laughs> and it's worked out great okay on this shelf here i have eggs yogurt sour cream a lot of times you might find some homemade pudding here or i'll buy tapioca pudding at the store ken likes that um, so sometimes there's pudding there now on the next shelf i have two of these containers i have a little bit of salad left over from this week um, I have one of these containers for lettuce and the other one for spinach. So this week I don't have any spinach left over or, you know, I would have it in there. <laughs> but um, down here, as far as um, fruit drawer, all I have left over is some lemons, limes, and a little bit of grapes. Down here, I have some breakfast meat, bacon, um, sausage. I do have a little bit of, not much, but there's like, looks like three different varieties of Italian deli meat. So I'm thinking this week I'll probably make like a charcuterie tray and use this up. That would be really great. I know this doesn't look very appealing at all, <laughs> but this is just bacon grease and I keep a little tub of it in here. Sometimes you just want a tablespoon or so to saute something in, gives it a lot of flavor. I love these. I have chicken demi glaze. I have brown stock and I have the veal demi glaze. And these are very concentrated flavors in here. You need just about a tablespoon to really bump up sauce that you make. The nice thing is these don't have a lot of salt in them. It's just like a punch of flavor. I use them a lot in sauces. I also have better than beef bouillon and chicken bouillon. Now these do have a lot of salt in them, but I do use those. Here's where I keep my shredded cheese when I shred it from the block. Um, I have some mozzarella and this is some cheddar. Now this is, um, I didn't shred this. This is some Mexican blend cheese that I got at the grocery store. And <laughs> I was lucky to find that. My grocery store is not the, the best as far as having a big variety. But um, I prefer to grate my cheese myself, but um, I was lucky to get this. So there's that. A lot of times I'll have sliced cheese or deli uh, meats in here deli meats here and a sliced cheese for sandwiches. I'm just, I'm out right now. Um, I do have a little crescent roll thing here. Looks like as far as vegetables, I have a couple of avocados and a couple jalapenos left. And then I have some bread, some corn tortillas. On this shelf, I have peanut butter, almond butter, and strawberry preserves. I try to clump things together so like we could take this out for breakfast or if they're just making PB and J sandwiches. This is some crab apple um, jelly I made. We have a crab apple tree. And then this one, I have the Italian dressing, ranch dressing. And over here, what I started doing, this is so good. Um, whenever I open up a jar of stuff that I use in salads like artichokes or pickled beets or olives. I put them here so I can use them for salads. Really nice. 
Now up top, I have a couple of different iced coffees. This is probably the one thing that the kids think is the biggest treat. They're not soda pop drinkers at all. They never have been. Um, even when they were kids, like when they would get a Happy Meal, they were the kids that got milk and sliced apples. They drank tea and coffee, lots of water, and iced coffee is just a real treat for them. Let's see, up here I have a little protein snacks. This could change. Um, sometimes you'll find string cheese up here. Usually you'll find hard boiled eggs. Just something quick. If the kids just wanna come, we have a quick little snack. I usually try to keep something like that up there. Then on this door, I have steak um, sauce. I have Heinz 57, A1 and Lee and Perrins. And then this juice container, Ken had bought some orange juice a while back at the store and this container fits so good that I recycle it <laughs> every time I make orange juice from the frozen can. I just reconstitute it and I fill the sucker up and it's nice. It has a spout that pours and it doesn't drip. So yeah, that was a good find. Okay, let's see. A little bit of apple cider. And then on this shelf, it's just condiments again, sun-dried tomatoes, capers, preserved lemons. I see horseradish, Dijon mustard, um, this Morello cherry. A lot of this is for making sauces. And then up here, it's just usual condiments, mayo, mustard, dill, relish, ketchup. And behind there, there's I see a little tube of tomato paste. So that is our fridge what it looks like at the end of the week. And I've had this organizational system in place since I started using the refrigerator drawers to put the meal prep for dinners and it's worked out so good. Um, anyway, I wish it was more exciting. Um, I guess I could have waited till tomorrow when I go grocery shopping, you know, it would have been a little bit I don't know what would be in there. A little extra something. I don't know. But this is reality. This is what I got in here. And it works really good. I love having those acrylic little dividers in there because it keeps the refrigerator clean. Usually, like today's the day before I go grocery shopping, I make a, a note of kind of what I got. Kind of like, you know, I have some of the deli meat here. I can make a charcuterie tray because I have some olives in there. And I just kind of like take note and meal plan from here so that I can use what I already have so it doesn't go bad. So this makes it pretty easy. I really, really like the system. And then usually today I'll kind of wipe down the fridge if it needs it. Um, but these acrylic um, bins really, uh, limit that. I mean, sometimes stuff will spill and I'll just clean one of the acrylic things and stuff like that. And then probably once a month, I take everything out and I give it a good scrub. But I just kind of wipe it down every week. I don't know what you guys do, but that's what I do. This is the fridge. And, oh, you know what? This refrigerator is 24 inches deep. It's a counter dip refrigerator. So I'm just thinking ahead that somebody's going to want me to link these um, acrylic bins. These are 10 inch in depth. They're made for the 24 inch depth refrigerators. Normal refrigerators are another four inches. So if you have one of the regular refrigerators, you would want 13.75 inch bins. I'll just mention that in case someone was maybe wanting to use the bins. All right, there's the fridge. And finally, we have a cold beverage uh, refrigerator in the dining room. When we bought this house, it was a brand new house. The builder had built it for his wife and they were in their 80s. And at the very end, she said she didn't want to move. So he sold the house to us. But there used to be a, a clothes closet in there. <laughs> and I used to lay in bed and think, why do people on the East Coast have a closet in their dining room because Ken and I we had lived our whole life in California so we'd think I don't know you know why they do but we have one 
<laughs> so, um, you know, after like a few weeks of trying to think why they had it, I thought, what can we do with that space? So we put a, a beverage center in there and it's the best thing we've d we have done. Um, it frees up so much room in the refrigerator. We have beer, wine, um, soda pops, water, juices, just a whole plethora of different kinds of things to drink. Our family doesn't drink soda very much at all, but we do have a lot of friends, especially from California, that come visit us. We have a large family that comes and visit us. They stay, you know, three, four days, a week at a time. And I have found that just having that um, that uh, beverage center there with the refrigeration in it, I just stock it and I just tell people, help yourself. <laughs> I want them to feel at home and it's like a treasure. They can go in there and find whatever's in there. And it just seems like it works well for our family. I think it's a better utilization of the space than a closed closet in the dining room, just saying. <laughs> so let me show you that. You guys probably seen it before, but I'll just show you real quick what it looks like. And in addition to the beverages, I've been storing, it's probably about 12 inches. It's um, a piece of stone and you put cheese on it and sliced deli meats and um, pickles and olives and stuff like that, you know, dried fruit. And um, I store that in there to keep it cold because we get a lot of local people. They have a tendency just to drop by your house. They just, it's a country thing. See, we've lived in the city our whole life where you could live next door to someone for 25 years and don't even speak to them. And then we moved here to the country uh, a couple years ago and people are very friendly and they stop by your house. So it's kind of nice to have that in there and chilling. And then if you've been following my channel for any length of time, you know when we go to Trader Joe's, Ken stocks up on his summer sausage. So I keep that stocked in there as well. And you've already seen the cheese drawer, so you know I can pull out a cheese or two and cut it up and put it on the, on the, the stone and uh, serve friends of ours that just happen to drop by a nice little snack. So I'll show you that as well. Okay, let me get the camera turned around and show you the, the beverage uh, center. I went ahead and I uh, stocked up the beverage center and that'll last us a long time because we're not big soda pop drinkers by any means mostly we have it available like if guests come that sort of thing i know most of you have seen my beverage center but i don't think i've ever shown i store this it's like a platter and it stays cold in here and then i have all the kins summer sausages and some salamis and stuff makes it real handy to put together a little uh, tray when people drop by i hope that you can glean any ideas from how um, I utilize our refrigeration space. I hope to get the pantry um, tour and the freezer tour out to you guys pretty soon. I've done a lot of filming. I just need to do some editing and get it out to you guys. Anyway, you guys have a great week. I'll talk to you later.